The life box consists of different components. In the backpack, components are stored to be transported to the patient in need. To install a life box, open the backpack. On one side, there's space to transport the oxygen bottle and the emergency hand crank. On the other side, there's the bottom plate and the mast. Take the bottom plate from the backpack. There are two clips on each side of the plate which will secure it to a standard rail system in any vehicle for ground or air transportation. The plate can also be used to install life box and life kit. Take the mast from the backpack and place it onto the bottom plate. To secure it, press the little knob on top of the splint pin and place the splint pin into the lower hole of the mast. Also, secure the holder on the upper hole of the mast with a splint pin. Place the motor to the holder and secure it with the bracket and the splint pin. Make sure that the silver retaining key is on the top. On top of the holder, there are two different plates available to fix the oxygenator. One for the EOS and one for the Echo 5. The life box itself contains the control panel and the battery pack. The flow sensor and the power cable are stored in a pocket on the side of the box. Various connectors are available on the front of the life box. Use the upper plate to secure the oxygenator. Place the flow sensor on the arterial line. Make sure that the direction of flow is in the direction of the arrow indicated on the flow sensor. Switch on the life box and turn the knob to start the pump. When running on battery, the display shows discharge and the remaining runtime. A warning tone will sound every 10 minutes. To mute the life box, the white button must be pressed and the loudspeaker symbol will be crossed out. The life box can also be placed onto a T-rail bracket of the patient's bed. A T-rail bracket is also available to clamp the life box onto the mass system of the heart-lung machine. When plugged into mains power, the display shows the charge and the actual capacity of the battery. If the mains power connector is removed, the life box automatically switches to internal battery power. The life box can easily be carried by one person.